brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The tense moments came as the governor was winding down his plea for support of his proposal for a 50% increase in the BPT in the face of a $70 million revenue loss this fiscal year. Calva warned of the dire impacts to GovGuam services and personnel if they don't offset the Trump tax reforms. If you're going to allow me that responsibility for signing someone's layoff, I'm looking at every one of you straight in the eye and say resign because you did not work with this administration to keep this government stable and to keep this economy moving forward. Senator Talina Nelson, though, pushing back at the governor's remarks. We are working, and we are working very hard to find other solutions. But I ask that you come before this body without harassing us. It's unprofessional, and I have so much respect for you. But I don't appreciate you coming in here and harassing us, threatening us. If we don't vote your way, that you're going to call for our resignation. If Bully you believe it's harassment, us. then I will tell you this. I want you to be with me when I lay the people off. Because if you are not going to come with an answer to my proposal, and right now, if we go with Senator Regina Bisco Lee's answer, there will be layoffs. Senators, though, not ready to make a decision. As Senator Tom Atta says, the administration needs to provide much more information in order to convince them. Because if they don't, inevitably, someone in here has information such as how much payables do you have outstanding, right? So we find out, oh, in addition to the, whatever, $60 million shortfall, we still got another $40 million to dig ourselves out of. And so those are the sort of things that they've got to put on the table and, and take away whatever doubt we may have. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.